Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Mikai EL. It was introduced in 1963. Uh, information varies a bit as to how long it ran, at least into the 70s, maybe as late as 1980. It has a Togodo, I'll mangle the name, new MK lens, 55mm. Apparently some of these have a variant, they're called a they're labeled a Macor lens. The company dates back to 1930, uh, and then production was disrupted by World War II, and there were several splinters and variants and stops and starts after World War II. Um, probably the most notable camera they built after the war was the HIT. Those tiny little, uh, I think they were 17 and a half millimeter cameras, film size. I uh, used to be able to order those from the back of comic books. But anyway, one of the variants uh, resurrected the Mikai brand and started making cameras again. They sold them through toy stores and stationery stores. So it's kind of a toy camera, although it's fairly solidly built compared to some others. It has uh, aperture settings here on the top. Cloudy is f8, Partly cloudy is f11, and sunny is f16. Some of them had a sail, sailboat logo for the sunny setting. Has a Misipi instant shutter. You set that down here, and that has sunny slash partly cloudy, which is a hundredth of a second, and flash or cloudy, which is a fiftieth of a second. I've read that some only had one shutter speed plus bulb. This one does not have a bulb setting. On the top, it's got the rewind knob with the release with this lever on the back. It has a cold shoe, which is not deep enough um, to fully slide something in here. And then it has the PC sink here on the front. Amazingly, that does work on this camera. Uh, it has a shutter cocked indicator, a little red shows up in this hole right here. Frame counter, I've heard various uh, tales online that the frame counter is not so hot. This one seems to work pretty well. And then the cock, and that's pretty much it. There was a variant called the 204 that had a bump out here instead of a the cold shoe, and they took flash cubes. Opening the back resets the film counter, and here you can see, because it's a simple meniscus lens, it's a glass lens, has a curved film plane, and the pressure plate is curved to correct for the distortion from the simple lens. That is about it. There's, you know, a bit of discussion online about uh, whether this is a toy camera or not. Some people say that this plastic is a fake selenium meter. I don't really care. I don't have a dog in the fight. If it takes real pictures, to me, it's not really a toy. Toy or not, it takes decent pictures. I ran some horrendously expired Kodak VR200 through it, so it's incredibly grainy with some funky color distortion. It's not the camera's fault. So I'm going to run a roll of black and white through this guy. I'll post the results over on the blog. Um, it's challenging because it's so simple. It's like shooting with a Diana or a Holger or something. But it's a fun camera. It's mostly metal. It's a solid little shooter. So I'll get that black and white loaded and I'll see you then.